Hi, welcome back to the Gazelle Lab. Today I'm going to show you how to back up and restore your iPad. So when you're getting ready to sell your iPad and you know you're going to buy a new one, you want, what you want to do is back up all your data and then restore your iPad so it's just like factory when you, before you send it in to gazelle.com. Uh, so first I'm going to show you how to back up all of your data and there's two ways of doing this. If, you're, if your iPad is iOS 5 or higher, you can do this through iCloud, or you can always use the traditional way of using iTunes. So I will show you how to do it through iCloud right now. So you go to Settings, uh, iCloud. I currently don't use it, so it's not active right now. Storage and Backup. And then right down here, you can see iCloud Backup. So you can turn on or off. Right now, it gives you 5 gigabytes, then you have the option of buying more space. So that's one way you can uh, back up all your data. Staying on the iPad, I will show you how to uh, restore your iPad or reset your iPad. Uh, so once you go to general, I'll show you that again, general, reset on the bottom of the menu. So you have here you have some options where you can reset all settings, erase all content and settings, reset network settings, reset keyboard dictionary, reset home screen layout, reset location warnings. So once this thing is back, back up either through iCloud or the or your iTunes on your computer, what you want to do is erase all content and settings. That will pretty much put your iPad into a factory state. So that's the way of doing it straight through your iPad. Uh, the other option is doing everything through iTunes, which I'm going to show you right now. So now I'm going to show you how to back up and restore using iTunes in either your PC or your Mac. This is hooked up to a MacBook Pro right now, so once I plug in my iPad, you can see your iPad does pop up on the left side over here, right in this left-hand column. And you can see right here there is an option for restore. Before you restore, though, you do want to back up. Uh, if you look down here, you can see you do still have that option to back up to iCloud as well. But right now, what we're doing is we're going to go back to the iPad on the left side, uh, right-click that, and then here you have a bunch of options. What you'd want to do is just click backup right here. So if I click backup, you can see it's backing up all my uh, all my data and settings. One thing with the uh, with iTunes, it will not always back up all your purchased apps and purchased media content. So for that, what you want to do is you want to go back there, right click, right back here again, and scroll down to transfer purchases, and then it will have your iPad name. So this will put all your apps, uh, movies, media, MP3s, or music back from your iPad onto your onto your PC or Mac. So a lot of people miss this step, so that's definitely something you want to do, or you'll have to go back into iTunes or the App Store and re-download everything manually. You can do it either way. Uh, once you complete your backup, and then it's time to restore. So all you would do is click Restore right here, it's right on this main screen, and then it's going to ask you right here, you have an option, are you sure you want to do this? Uh, to factory settings, all your media and other data will be erased. So, and that's how you uh, back up and restore. Once you get your new iPad, you can plug it in, something will pop up and it will allow you to back up, it will allow you to restore from a backup, which is this setting down here. Assuming you back up your data frequently, one thing that we highly recommend, and keeping iTunes up to date as often as possible for the latest version. So you would just select restore from backup, and then you would have a drop down here, that would show you all your all your last backups that you completed. So that's how you uh, restore from a previous backup. So there you have it. Uh, restoring, backing up, restoring, erasing all your content straight from your iPad, using iTunes, and using iCloud. I hope this tutorial helps. Thanks.